folks, thank you for joining me and welcome to the kind of second part of my little cranked series from the rehearsal rooms in Glasgow where I could make as much noise as I want. Now before we go on any further and start looking at the Cornell in any more depth or the Supro, let's cleanse our palate a wee bit and remind ourselves what the Vox sounded like from last week. <laughs> Cornell up too loud. Let's go to 80%, 85% of what it can do. All the attenuation is off um, and it's only a 10 watt amp so this would be performing I think a bit beyond what it wants to do but let's see how it sounds. <laughs> actually hearing that clip again there with the Cornell really loud in the Les Paul it did actually sound quite exciting on second listen. Anyway, let's chop things up. Let's hear the Supro. Now the Supro is 25 watts, class A. It's not got any attenuation, it's just old school. And yet the Cornell is so much louder at 10 watts than the Supro is. I wonder if that's something to do with the class A status. So at 80%, 85% where the Supro is really driving, it just sounds great, as you'll hear in a minute but no hearing protection required. Here goes. Here's the Supro. Love that. I thought the Les Paul through the Crank Supro was just so nasally and full of character and boxy and I just thought it was great. If that was my backline amp and they said, Paul, plug into this, you're in this all night, I'd have been happy as Larry with that sound. Um now sorry to keep beating the Cornell to death here, but there's just I didn't have time in the rehearsal rooms. I spent most of the time on the Vox and I wished I'd remembered that the Cornell's got a an EQ cut switch. I don't know why I forgot to demo that. Anyway, here's a couple of just random clips in the house I did a few minutes ago with my ear protection on. I, there's no neighbours around just now, so just to show you the EQ cut at huge volume. <laughs> now do some back-to-backs. We'll start with Supro, then we'll do Cornell, and then we'll finish with Fox. Supro and Telecaster. <laughs> Thank you. 
finish up now with 50 seconds of the Vox just to cap it off um, I don't know what one's my favourite what one's yours Pfft, I've always loved the Cornell in the house especially because of the, the warmth and it, oh it's gorgeous but then when I flick the EQ switch and cut the EQ that gives me a really aggressive rock and roll raunchy sound that the Vox gives you naturally one of my best sounds tonight that for me personally was the Les Paul through the Supro I just loved that sound and I've got the Marshall over this shoulder looking at them all going I could kick your ass and it probably could because to me the Les Paul through the Marshall is a definitive sound I just love in fact I think the best sound I've ever achieved on YouTube on my channel is a video I did about a year ago year and a half ago called my best tone ever and that was me playing through the Marshall very loud and boom that's just it for me so I wonder which one is your favorite but I know I'm a very lucky boy to have all three that's for sure Stick around for the last 50 seconds of the Vox and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. See, this is a great sound in the room. <laughs> just bristling there's tight bottom end that they talk about with a vox whereas in the bedroom there's not a lot of bottom end oh, there's a headline paul cook's not getting much bottom end in the bedroom but it all comes alive when you crank that amp and i have to say if i was gigging with that <laughs> single coil. I think I'm preferring it with the telly more than the Les Paul.